Listen up, all fight fans and fitness junkies. You've been listening to me talk about Jocko Fuel for a while now, and if you've been waiting, the wait is over. This August, you can score a massive 30% off on all of Jocko Fuel's top tier supplements. That's right, 30% off. Jocko Fuel is loaded with all of the good stuff and none of the bad. We're talking no added sugar, no artificial sweeteners, and absolutely no gray area or banned substances. Just pure, clean fuel to power your performances. And guys, I really want you to try some of my favorites like Jocko Go and Jocko Hydrate. This deal is only going to be available for the month of August. So use code CHAIL30 or go to JockoFuel.com. Don't wait. Fuel up with Jocko Fuel and crush your goals. Guys, click on the link below to make it happen. Dana White would be surprised if John Jones does not fight Aspinall. That is the direct quote that he gave to Kevin Ioli. Now, that was his words, though. He said, I'd, I'd be surprised. And Dana went further to state this Steve Bay's last fight. And that's relevant to the whole thing. I do believe that there's a belief out there that Steve Bay could come and ruin the whole party. That Stipe could beat John Jones and therefore John doesn't fight Aspinall. It still draws it still draws John into Aspinall. It just changes who's got the power at the table. All of a sudden, John is going to want that fight, right? Like if John loses to Stipe, that's not going to take John's motivation away. Oh, and by the way, it's not going to take his ranking away. Therefore, if he was to come back in, he would draw right into Tom for the very championship that he drops to Stipe. He beats Stipe. We are going to have to deal with, hey, John, are you retired? Like, we're, we're going to have to deal with that to some degree. We're going to get an answer of no. But when Dana says, I would be surprised if John didn't fight Aspinall, there's a little bit more to it where Dana is letting us know if John gets done with Stipe and would like to fight here again, that is the fight. That is the one that he will be offered. So I think that's great news. Right, like if you're looking to get that fight, let's not wait. Let's get it as quick as we can. Now, as quick as we can, isn't going to be any faster than summer of next year, but we got one piece down, All right? We got one piece down, which is Dana. And I also would be surprised if John did not do that because I'd be more surprised on what story could be told to get somebody else in there with John. That's the part that I predict won't happen. Okay, now Aspinall has come out and said, undisputed title match next. I will not do anything else. Now, guys have the right to change their mind. Guys often do change their mind. Guys post-fight, whether it's up or down, are generally not themselves. They've got a high coming from a victory, which is what Tom would have been on. When he's making a statement such as, I won't do anything else, so we have to take into consideration that he wants to run that back in a couple weeks, that's fine. And then you also got the post-fight depression. So what an athlete says right after a fight, and that, that's good for about a week. About a week, he's not quite himself. And I, I just share with you, Tom did not call out John Jones. And Tom did not call out Stipe. And I read headlines that said that he did. That's not accurate. Tom did not say, I will do nothing else, and I'm waiting for John Jones. That is inaccurate. But I saw that that was reported. His words were an undisputed title match. And I realize we're splitting hairs, and it sure looks like that's got to be John Jones or Stipe. I don't disagree, but I'm sharing with you there also wasn't an interim belt until November 13th of last year when they got created. So what can be done with that undisputed belt? Like, it, it, I think it's very unlikely. I, th I think that Jones and Stipe goes off in November. I'm just sharing a scenario for you. We lost it one time, right? If we get an injury again, if we get something that's delayed, we might show grace, but we might also take that belt and get Tom Back to work, in which case, if we're taking Tom in a literal situation in this one interview that he did, he would fight somebody else. But it's got to be for the undisputed belt. Tom believes that his belt right now should be elevated to undisputed. He's got a great argument. I do believe the best part of the statement is Dana 
get it a step closer to making it clear. That's the match that I'm going to make. That's the match that I'm going to offer. And taking that match or making a decision to retirement seem to be the two doors that you can walk through. And this was said in a nice way, but I still, that's what my ears heard. And if that match comes about, November feels like a long way away for me. Does it not feel that way for you guys? It does for me. And that's just the next time that John gets in there. That's just to settle this business between him and Stipe, who's got the undisputed belt. And then you go through the idea of retirement. You play the little game back and forth before you ever get signed, go through training camps and media tour and actually get in the ring. I, I Tom could be waiting a minute. He could be waiting a period of time. And I don't know if that's what he wants to do. I, I will admit for you, I don't know that I have another idea. Like when Tom says, I'm going to wait and not do anything else, generally that would drive a promoter crazy. That might have been music to their ears. They might be going, okay, great. Because I, I didn't have another idea. Like this Curtis Blades thing was a tough sell in the first place. I could do the business with Surreal, but you guys have both made it kind of clear that we're not doing that now. Petty reasons or not, I actually understand them. And I'm sharing that. That might be a little easier to do. That might be a little easier to let a champion sit than a general situation. It still comes down to when John and Tom get in there, Tom's going to have been out for about a year. I could not see that fight going off prior to International Fight Week of next year. And you're playing a game of inches. Like, who's going to win between John and, John and Tom? That's going to be a real debate. There, there is a chance that Tom is the favorite. And, but you're still playing a game of inches. And sitting for a year, I think that it's something that, if you were predicting that fight, I think it's something that you would have to consider. And I don't think it's a positive for Tom.